Hey, what is going on, you careless cast forms? Just want to give a quick shout out to TC Evolution. So they just came out with some new big damage counters to help you keep track of that big damage that your big VMAX Pokemon are be taking with the new set release of Sword and Shield. So go check them out. Get yourself a set. TCEvolutions.com. Use code AzulGG for 10% off. Today we are playing some games with Vika Volt. Um, this was a deck that came out of the deck set of Discord streams over on my Twitch channel, which I do stream on every weekday. 12 to 5 p.m. Eastern um, and yeah I fixed it up a little bit it was a little bit clunkier I tried to make it as aggressive as I possibly could and this is what I came up with um, so we're trying to use the electric electri electric cannon from whatever Vika Vault's attack um, to do a decent amount of damage we can get to uh, 220 um, and then if we're playing against tag team decks we got 4e power so we can knock out two tag teams uh, theoretically um, or get two shot something why not um got the stealthy body um which doesn't really do anything because there's no fighting pokemon and we actually play zero stadium so if our opponent doesn't even put a stadium in play we don't even get to ever use it um, we can charge him up through the charger bug with battery if you can attach this guy with its ability to a vika volt if you got a vika volt in play and um yeah it becomes worth uh, two lighting energy which means that we put two of them on a vika volt we're using the cannon uh discarding two charger bugs for 220 um, and then we have four lure balls to get the uh, charger bugs back out of the discard pile and reuse them once again. Like I said, I tried to make this deck, this build as aggressive as possible, as consistent as possible. Uh, we got an or Oracorio GX in here for some extra draw power alongside our four Jirachis. And I play one grass energy, so that way early on we can use the electrical signal to actually find our charger bugs. This is the hardest thing to find in the deck. The deck will definitely get a little bit better, or quite a bit better, with Evolution Incense with the release of Sword and Shield. So there's definitely some, uh, this deck definitely sees some big improvements with uh, the release of Sword and Shield, mainly Evolution Incense. So we can actually find charger bug without without even having to use electrical signal. But charger bugs... They're hard to find, man. You, you got communication, sir, but they're, I don't know. They're hard to find. I can never find them. Um, yeah, we've got Acrobikes, Poke Gears, Lilies, Cynthia's, like I said, aggressive deck, aggressive build, four netball to find our Charger Bugs and our one of Grass Energy, and that's it. That's all I got to say on the list. Let's go ahead. Let's play some Vika Bolt. We got a reasonable start here. We got double Jirachi out, ready to go. Uh, no netball, no draw supporter yet, so no access to Grubbin, no access to seeing cards. We are up against a Pikaram deck. Uh, this is a deck where we like to use all four E powers. We can go two E powers, knock out a Pikaram, and then two E powers, knock out a Pikaram, and then that's game. Or knock out the uh, Raichu and Raichu, so it also can be knocked out for three prize cards as well with two E powers. Um, so that's our game plan. Um, they'll probably get a turn two full blitz. Pikaram is really good at getting a turn two full blitz right now. The deck just kind of does it very well. So probably going to see a turn two full blitz from our full blitz from our opponent but uh, i guess you never really know i am going to sell a wish first because i could try and get a netball and i could switch and then lily and get the switch out of the hand Let's see if the acrobite gets us anything no it does get us a cynthia for next turn i actually might use the cynthia this turn because our hand is so crowded now i'm gonna switch the lily for three or get cynthia for six six is greater than three so i'm in let's do cynthia see what we get we need some net balls there are zero net balls in this hand we need a stellar wish there are still zero net balls in this hand gonna get an acro bike looking looking for some net balls where are the net balls at i know they exist in the deck there's a grubbin we have to give up a lure ball but we only need to knock out two tag teams so it shouldn't be too big of a deal uh bench the grubbin and pass over to our opponent all right so pretty slow start only one grubbin um but we do usually electrical signal anyways so i think we're still in a fine spot i haven't been able to search my deck yet so i don't know what's prized not that i really check my prize cards anyways but uh i definitely would i want to figure out how many grubbins are prized charger bugs uh, i don't really care about how many vika bolts i have that's one thing i guess i don't i'm not too too concerned with there's that caitlin and cynthia gonna get back the Vulcaner. they might actually whiff the turn two attack here which would be very good for us if they did uh, yeah, very good indeed if they with the turn to attack. They need quite a bit still. I have a feeling if I had to bet as of right now, oh, never mind. There's the switch. Here comes the Thunder Mountain. Uh, I'm mistaken. They actually have it all set up, ready to go, of course. Uh, how can I be so silly to assume Vigoram would whiff the turn to attack? All right, there it is. Full Blitz. Knock out my Jirachi. Load up the active fully. Um, now, we could get really, really lucky here and knock this thing out. The chance of us getting lucky and knocking this thing out is astronomically low. It's just not going to happen. Um, so we're going to go evolve that, play Cynthia. Looking for Grubbins. We need Grubbins. We need the small dudes. There is a netball that gets us a Grubbin. We're going to start with the 
acro bike because we would like another grubbin there he is we lose an e power man these acro bikes have been uh super costly not good i don't want to get the um oof all right we're still fine technically i don't want to get the oracorio yet because not yet not worth getting the oracorio yet put these guys down Tell i wish need a supporter for next turn but that's not a very good supporter to have for next turn i guess i'm gonna take it nah that's a very bad supporter to have for next turn we kind of need a cynthia we only play three cynthia though and our hand is kind of trapped so we're gonna get the switch do another stella wish thing uh get ourselves oh no i guess a uh switch we need a top deck like a Pokemon to candy the guy out. Oh man, it's just such a slow start. Yeah, slow start, slow start. Yeah, I couldn't get Oracorio here because I don't want to get I don't want it to get tag bolted and then we lose our Oracorio. Oof. All right, rough start in this one. We're gonna have to bring it back in the next one. I think it's gonna be very unlikely we walk away with a dub in this one. I think. Um, fan club from our opponent. So they got a whole bunch of shenanigans in their deck then as they use the fan club. What could they even be fan clubbing for? I guess I could find them stuff like Absol. Oh, well, there's Zapdos and Jirachi. Two things I did not expect. Um, but sure, I guess they are there. Um, oh, I guess we can survive with three E-Power, actually, because we can go one E-Power. It only takes one E-Power to knock out a Pikachu. I forget that. We can go two E-Power to knock out the Raichu Raichu. Um, we're in no position to ever make that happen um, anytime soon. So, chances of that working pretty low. Uh, we'll see what they tag vault here. They went after our Jirachi, unfortunately. I was really hoping they would go after a Grubbin, but when the whole squad's here, I guess it's kind of unappealing to go after the grubbins so basically our only good top deck here is oracorio or a way to find oracorio or a pokemon here to get oracorio instead it's alana's fishing rod which is not an oracorio could have drawn three cards gotten vika vault and then a draw supporter and then gone from there but it's a little bit too slow on this one we're gonna go ahead and with the big concede hopefully next game goes a little bit just a little bit smoother all right, we have got a little bit of a smoother start here and our opponent opened up the latios so that helps us as well Grab some Grubbin. So Grass Energy is here. Four Charge of Bug. We pass a Jirachi and a Grubbin. Uh, an E-Power. Let's have an E-Power in hand. Nope, Jirachi, Grubbin, E-Power. And yeah, they did open the Latios, which is going to help us quite a bit. Uh, prize of Lily as well. And Communication? Two communication, two Communication. Two Communications. All right. And all right. Grab the Grubbin. I'm going to Netball again for another Grubbin. I'm then going to shuffle one of these back in for a Jirachi. Get ourselves a second Jirachi to work with. Usually what we burn most of our Switch cards on is just utilizing Jirachis. I'm then going to Stellar Wish. I'm going to grab another Netball. Ooh, there is an Escape Board. We definitely want that. A little bit too aggressive there. Not usually five trainers to choose from, but sometimes there is. So you got to look out for that. Switch into this Jirachi. Play a Poke Gear. Fail the Lily. Play a Poke Gear. If it is a Cynthia, I'll take it. No Cynthia. Lily for eight. Let's get some candy Vika Vaults going. Some good stuff here. I'm gonna go ahead and Acrobike. Grab the Acrobike. Oh, Acrobike again. Grab the Grubbin. Get rid of the Acrobike. Bench the Grubbin. We can also evolve one of these up through the Charger Bug if we want to. Stellar Wish. Grab the Lure Ball. Where are my rare candies at? We've seen a ton of cards. No rare candy. We're probably going to evolve one into a Charger Bug. We really want to attack on turn two, though. Um, yeah, let's, we'll see what our opponent has. Our hand's really good. Um, if we can start attacking next turn. Yeah, so it's a pretty big deal that our opponent actually opened up with the Latios. Because otherwise, us trading into a Giratina over and over with Spell Tags is not favorable. However, they actually might not be playing Spell Tags. A lot of people have been playing the... Um, tag team build of malamar as of late and there's the alternate cross where they open the latios i feel like they're probably playing the tag team build which means they don't play spell tags which means they don't play spell tags which means yorichina can't one shot a vika vault they can hit us for 130 and then we're not gonna when we knock them out we don't break a spell tag which means they don't clean up the vika vault which means they're two shot on us which puts us in a pretty good spot uh overall i guess they have the baby blue cephalon that could do some cleanup damage um but yeah, I'm feeling a little bit a little bit better about the about the scenario for sure. Then I'm gonna eventually kill the Latios to get two prize cards. Um, yeah, we got some stuff going on. We can make this work, no problem. I maybe shouldn't have benched the Grubbin. 
because of the distortion door. But they're going after this Grubbin, so now we can rare candy this Grubbin, and then this Grubbin won't be able to get distortion door twice. So we're gonna send this guy up first. Basically what I'm trying to say. All right, um, I'm gonna pretty force away this, get the grass out of the deck, and then Stellar Wish into a rare candy, because I really want a rare candy. There it is, whew. That was close. Didn't even have to use our uh, grass energy with the electrical signal this time. Got a little bit lucky here. Two charge of bugs in hand. I will battery and battery. And then I will play a Cynthia. Gonna go ahead and look for more Vika Vault stuff. We do need another Vika Vault. We can't get away with just one Vika Vault. I'm gonna play the Acro Bike. That's an E power. I think the Cynthia is definitely gonna be a little bit better. I could, like I said, I could evolve one up, which I think I will do. Um, we will probably need to make a bunch of Vika Vaults. So we're gonna evolve onto this guy. And then retreat. Yeah, nah, I couldn't really wait to turn. All right, Electric Cannon. Uh, no, Jirachi only has 70 HP. We will keep these charge bugs around. Um, I guess that's another reason that uh, it's not that bad to evolve them up is like in this situation, we're just kind of using the charge bugs are sticking around. Charge bugs are sticking around. That's pretty cool. There's a, another Jirachi from our opponent. Um, I guess the Baby Blissephalon will be able to take out both of our Jirachis at some point, or they could like knock out Jirachi plus knock out something else. There's the Retreat already from our opponent, so they actually might not even be able to pull off an attack here. They are gonna need a switch for sure now, because um, they did already retreat for turn. Um, so they can't retreat again. That's that's not legal. You can't do that. Um, so even if they find an escape board, uh, they're gonna be trapped in the active. So they have to find a switch off the Cynthia, as well as a Psychic Energy and a Malamar. They would need Switch, Psychic Energy in hand, because they can pretty enforce away that Psychic Energy. Um, and that is not a Psychic Energy. That is actually a, a Naganadel GX with the Stinger GX attack. So, they're just not attacking this turn. Unless I completely miss something. Nope, we're getting ahead a little bit further once again. That sounds great to me. Evolve. Second Escape Board. Bent Grubbin. Uh, I was going to say Viridian Force, but I have, there's nothing to Viridian Force away. Play Cynthia. See if we can find something to Viridian Force away on the other side of the Cynthia. Nope. Netball. Grab ourselves a another Grubbin. And what's better than a Grubbin, bro? Another Grubbin. Every time. No E powers in our discard pile. I'm going to go ahead and thin out another E power. Get the grass energy and improve our odds of top decking something else by a little bit. Because that's definitely not what we're looking for. Don't need to discard once again. Just doing that 140 to the Jirachi. Knocking it out. Our opponent one turn slow on the Malamar's attack. Got a, a communication so we can get rid of the Grubbin. So ideally we're looking for a rare candy for this Grubbin. Because um, we are one-shotting this Giratina with the Electric Cannon. This turn we will actually discard our energy. There's a reset stamp from our opponent. Definitely seems like a poor time to reset stamp us. That doesn't really do anything on this turn. So we're looking at top deck Vika Vault, top deck communication, top deck something like that. I don't want to burn my last switch. Um, I guess we have one more switch. I'll probably keep this. Oh, I could switch to try and get a communication off this. Actually, I kind of want to do that. So we have four lure balls left, three prize cards. There is the Latios in play, like I had mentioned before. Never mind. Let's just go ahead and top deck communication. Get ourselves that Vika Vault. Rare candy out the Vika Vault. Play the Cynthia. Yeah, I think I'm going to hold on to the switch. Nah, we're going to use the switch here. Switch into Jirachi. Changed my mind. And Cynthia for six. Four, five, six. All right. Stellar Wish. Grab ourselves the Lure Ball, I think. Yeah, we just kind of need more gas constantly to attack with Vika Vault. So let's get the Lure Ball. Retreat back to this guy. Hit him with the Electric Cannon. Yes, this time, because we do need to do that 10 extra damage, which uh, from our attack actually involves 100 extra damage, but uh, that's fine. That's the point. Uh, communication. We do know the Great Catcher is also in the deck, which is a big deal, because Great Catcher is uh, important. We need the Great Catcher. Um, so we're going to go to Great Catcher and knock out that Latios. I'll probably put the Oracorio in play next turn. You don't really want GX Pokemon in play in this deck, but... Um, because we're so far ahead and we just really need to find a great catcher to close out this game as soon as possible before our opponent has a chance to come back. I think having the Oracorio in play is uh, overall just beneficial uh, for us. Okay, they're setting up the Baby Blown here over. So I guess they really want to KO this this turn, but then... Oh no, it is their Baby Blown turn. I was like, that's that's like an interesting choice, but it is their turn to use the Baby Blissephalon. For some reason, I thought I was on four prize cards. I don't know why. 
But we did, oh, because I, I planned to go KO Jirachi, KO Garatina, but then they whiffed the attack, and I went KO Jirachi, KO Jirachi, KO Garatina. That's three knockouts. That's three prize cards. That's the fireworks bomb. Here's the distortion door. Um, they are going to be able to draw three prizes this turn, actually, I think, unless I'm mistaken. So they're going to actually get, like, right back into this. That's five, six, seven. Yeah, wow. Oh, shoot. Another reset stamp? All right. Well, we're really hoping we draw Oracorio now. I didn't know they would be able to draw three prize cards this turn. We actually drew pretty much everything we need to close out the game. Um, we'll get some top decks to work with. We'll get some prize cards to work with as the game goes on. Uh, we just need some heads on these lure balls, and we'll be all good. Yeah, I think it would knock out, knock out, knock out. Shoot, I did not, I didn't see that coming at all. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't think they'd be able to to pull this off. Incredible, all right. Go Vega Vault. Um, we're hoping we top deck the Oracorio, like I said, or a communication, because then we could get something off the lure ball probably and communication it back. There we go. Let's get like, you know, like four heads here total. Um. I do want you to use the Oracorio this turn. Oops, but I guess that means maybe I can't use the Oracorio now. Are the... Oops, I maybe just can't attack now. I think I messed up. Yeah, I probably should have gone with... I don't know. I should have done something different. This is not correct. Unless I get the Charger Bug back, and then we're fine. Okay, we haven't got the Charger Bug back yet. Um, battery. This guy. Um, pretty enforced away this. Grab ourselves this. We have two Charger Bugs and one Communication left in the deck. Lily for three. Okay, so I can go use this, <laughs> get a heads. Okay, that's fine. And then we can communication it back in the deck for a charger bug. Yeah, don't do what I just did. That was definitely a mistake. Uh, big time mess up there. But we're all okay. We're all okay now. We have got the charger bug with the battery to the active. And now we can go cannon. For the knockout don't need to discard once again draw a prize card we have the great catcher to take out the lanios on the next turn yeah i don't know what i was thinking there it ended up working out in the end so uh, i'm not gonna complain too much but it's definitely an incorrect sequencing line of play that led into well a fine scenario i guess but don't do that do do what i was i was i was saying um but yeah don't do don't do it the way i did it Communication away a Gengar and Mimikyu. We'll go ahead and see what they grab here. It is the Trevnor. That's what I was kind of expecting. They are out of reset stamps, I think. I, I would assume they only play two. So it is possible they play three or like a judge or something. So if we keep our hand, we probably have game here. We just need to keep the whole hand. We got the Great Catcher. Bring up the Latios. I think we do have two E-Power e left. Oh, wait, no, we do not. I did not hold on to my E-Powers. So we can't straight up one-shot the Trevnor here. Uh, we got the Great Catcher, though. We got the Dance of Tribute. We got the Lure Ball to get the Charger Bugs back. I mean, they're going to take two cards out of our hand with the Night Watch, unless they go with the Pale Moon GX, which I guess they could go for. No, it is the Night Watch. All right, here we go. I am going to... We lost the Great Catcher. Okay. And we want to keep that one. Darn. All right. I'm gonna go send up the Oracorio, and I'm just gonna switch into the Vigavolt to get that out of my hand. So we're gonna go with the uh, Lure Ball first. Let's get one charge above. I'm going to launch this Fishing Rod in a uh, Skateboard and a Charger Bug. Increase my chances of finding a Charger Bug. I'm then going to Battery. To the, I guess I should have switched into the Oracorio, actually. I should have sent a Beak Vault, because this thing's got the grass energy on it. We're then going to draw six. Looking for the Great Catcher. No Great Catcher yet. We are then... Oh, wait, we did just draw the Great Catcher. Oops, my bad. I was like, well, we don't have the Great Catcher. Well, actually, the Great Catcher was in the hand the whole time. And we're going to Great Catcher up this Latios. And we're going to knock it out with the Cannon to win the game uh, here over our opponent's tag team Malamar deck. Yeah, the Latios start definitely gave us a big opening. And we're able to abuse it here at the end of the game. Oof. We did open with the Oracorio here in this one. But our opponent did Mulligan uh once already so that's pretty good for us no idea what they are possibly playing but um starting with the mulligan for us is pretty good we'll take it i uh, got an acro bike we got stuff to work with as well have a draw supporter for sure and at least one mulligan card coming our way maybe more let's find out um but yeah or choreo start all right six six mulligans 
All right, let's get some squad out there. Um, yeah, I guess that's a fine trade-off for going second. There's the Fermosa start from our opponent. So it looks like they are playing the... Uh, what's it called the baby bocephalon deck i have no idea how this matchup goes i'd imagine it's pretty close i mean if we as long as we can set up attackers and chain attackers that's going to be the main thing on our side can we chain attacker i don't play a reset stamp um but if they set up attackers constantly i think we just lose yeah they will just win the prize trade eventually because we either can't keep up more keep getting out what's it called the guys or we can but it's probably unlikely yeah so it's i, I favor our opponent in this one i think for sure i think i definitely favor our opponent um, if they're able to continuously, uh, you know, set up the attackers, it's going to be tough. I mean, we're going to try our best. We're going to try our best here for sure. Um, but it's definitely going to be rough. Let's see what we can do, though. There's our greens as well. Yeah, so they are on to, off to a great start here. Yeah, Welder Flint, the classic greens for Welder and Flint. And they got the Fairmost to start. There's the Reset Stamp as well. They're out of Reset Stamp now, which can be good, which is, like, not terrible for us. So that's kind of cool. Out of Reset Stamp, we drew a pretty good hand as well. We can retreat this Oracorio uh, and get it out of the active. Uh, get into a Jirachi. Go ahead and calm for a Jirachi. Attach the grass to the active. Uh, Lily, draw some cards. Let's see what we get. Um, and then go from there. See, there's another calm. Not bad to have. I don't think I play any Ultra Beasts, but I'm just going to go ahead and check anyways. Nope, I don't. Calm away the Grubbin. Grab ourselves a Jirachi. We could try and switch our skateboard into... Grubbin instead. I don't think I can afford to lose a Grubbin, actually. I think that would be pretty bad if I lost a Grubbin. Alright, Lily. Five. Got the candy guy out already. Um, we got another netball. So I'm going to start with the netball. Grab myself a Grubbin. Because I want to acrobike into other stuff. I'm going to start with the acrobikes now. There's another candy. I think I want the candy here. Yeah, I don't want to discard the candy, I guess, is what I really, which is, which is what I really don't want to do. Another acrobike. Grab the calm. Calm will let us find charge bugs if we top deck a Pokemon. Treat to the Chirachi Stellar Wish. Gonna grab the. We have a. We have that. We have that. We could grab another calm because when we use the Dance of Tribute, we could draw into more Pokemon to calm away. Lure Ball doesn't do anything for us. We already have the Cynthia. Lana's fishing rod doesn't do anything for us. So it is gonna be the calm grab. Yeah, and then we'll top deck. We'll use Dance of the Tribute. Dance of Tribute and see where the game takes us. We're definitely gonna hold on to this Grubbin because we need to calm him away to get a, at least one Charger Bug. We're hoping that uh, we draw some more Pokemon. Ideally, we wanna go calm for Charger Bug, calm for Charger Bug, calm for another Vika Ball. So we're hoping to top deck a Pokemon and then dance a tribute into a Pokemon or Netball. We have one Netball left we could get into and then go search out a Grubbin to calm away. So that's ideal, um, but we'll see what we end up with here. Yeah, there is the turn two Welder. Not a big surprise here. Here comes the Fireball Circus Knockout our Jirachi. We're just going to start swinging, and we're going to hope our opponent whips knockouts at some point. That's basically our game plan. Hopefully, we don't stop swinging at any point anytime soon. And uh, we can keep it up. Keep going. All right. Go Grubbin. Our draw for turn is not a Pokemon. Our Dance of Tribute is hopefully some Pokemon. No Pokemon. Acrobike into no Pokemon. Once again, we're going to take the Lure Ball. Super unfortunate draw there. Um, calm away the Grubbin. Gonna get ourselves the Charger Bug. Um, no Pokemon off the top four cards is a little disappointing. Uh, we are only one Charger Bug away from being able to attack, so that's pretty good for us. Um, but we have to find it still. Play the E Powers because they are not useful in this matchup. And then we play the Cynthia, looking for a Charger Bug or looking for the communication back, plus a Pokemon. There's the Charger Bug. All right, so we're still attacking. That's the important part here. Venture Grubbin. And then, uh, Ultra Cannon. Don't need to discard. They only have 120 HP. Gonna get a prize card to work with. Our, our last hand was just really good. Um, <laughs> it was really good. There's a rare candy. So when we do flip some lure balls, um, I guess we'd maybe start with the answer to the tribute, see if that gets us a Vega Vault or anything else to work with. And then we go into the lure ball. If we get triple heads, we're in business. We get all three back the Vika Vault and both Charger Bugs, which means you go Candy, Vika Vault, Attach, Attach, Knockout, uh, and then go from there. But yeah, we'll see if our opponent, once again, it's going to be, uh, does our opponent constantly have the response knockout every time? And can we respond to their knockout every time they knock out? And we pretty much have to. I think if we ever whiff a knockout, it gives our opponent a little bit too much breathing room, and we probably just lose the game pretty much instantly if we ever whiff a knockout. Um, but if we can get a knockout every turn, 
um, and knock out their attacker every turn, or if they whiff a turn and give us a little bit of breathing room to work with, I think we'll be in a pretty good spot. Here we go, Welder to their Blacephalon. Draw three more cards. And do they have enough fire energy to take the knockout? Let's find out. Hopefully, like, we need, we kind of do just need them to whiff. Like, one turn one turn of breathing room would be really good for us. Um, <clears throat> there's another fire crystal. So, they're already down two crystal. That's good. Um, that, oh, but it is still looking to attach on Victini. So, not quite as good. So, they're going to attack with, attack, probably attack with v, Victini. Ugh. Probably attack with Victini next turn. I guess they'll only have for sure six. Well, they don't even have for sure six. We need to play our turn. I guess we could whiff. The knockout. All right, here we go. Draw for turn. It is a pokey gear, so I could go pokey gear, pokey gear. Yeah, so we're gonna go pokey gear, whiff into pokey gear, whiff. Oh no, we did get a hit. I could go Lily first, draw three, or Corio draw three, and then play the lure ball. So I could fail this again and build on the hand with Lily as a because these are some of the pieces I already want. So I could just fail this and then just go Lily for three. There's the Vika Vault. And then we could go Dance of Tribute. I don't want to use Alana's Fishing Rod yet, I don't think. We need a Jirachi. Okay, so we got Candy Vika Vault. Candy Vika Vault. That's pretty good. That's going to help a lot. We need a Jirachi. We need to set up a Jirachi at some point. That would be really good. E-Power. Uh battery oh i guess i should have checked the lure ball first we're hoping this actually gets at least one heads open for two all right one is enough to attack so that's all we really need uh would have liked some more but oh well battery we are gonna need another grubbin so i'm just gonna go ahead and grab him right now and then here we go cannon again no no discard 150 knock out the oh we did what i was like why did we do 150 we do we did use an e-power that is why we do it. There's an escape board. No Jirachi to go with it, unfortunately. We need a Jirachi in play. We need to get that extra draw power through the Stellar Wishes. Find our rare candy. Communicate anything. Really. We just need to find extra cards. We need as many cards as possible to be able to keep up with this Baby Blacephalon deck. This is a tough deck for us to keep up with, for sure. If we played a reset stamp, we would definitely be have a way better shot of winning this game. But we don't play a reset stamp yet. There's a B-string. All right. It's getting more and more difficult to keep up with this deck every turn that passes. Um, I'll probably send up Oracorio and attach an escape board, and then Cynthia. Um, I don't see a reason not to play it that way. I mean, we'll wait. We'll go ahead and wait and see what we. Uh, well, I guess I'll, yeah, I'll probably send up Oracorio because we know I know the second escape board is in the deck, so we have that for Jirachi, and we have a lot of switches left as well. We have all of our switches left, actually. Yeah, so I'll play it like that. Here is the Fireball Circus knock out our Vika Vault, and then they're gonna have the Victini for sure to knock out a Vika Vault. Um, once again, I think we'd be in a fine spot if we played a reset stand. Um, as long as we're drawing like this and had a reset set. We need kind of both. The, the Wombo combo. There's a Grubbin. That's a great top deck. Skateboard. Cynthia for six. We'll be able to draw three more off of this. Um, Dance of Tribute for three. Uh, Acrobike. For Acrobike. Get ourselves that rare candy. Um... Lure ball. Looking for some heads. We need some heads. Only one heads. Okay, so I don't even know. I don't even think we have any Charger Bug left in the deck. Um, I can calm the Jirachi away and find out. Um, actually, I'm actually going to calm away the Vika Ball and find out. I don't think we do. Yeah, we don't. That is unfortunate. Okay, we're going to go ahead and grab another Grub in here. And then we're going to have to retreat to the Jirachi and Stellar Wish for the turn as opposed to attacking. So this is what I was talking about. If uh, we whiff, uh, whiff a point of attack as well, we're going to be in trouble. And I think we have entered the spot of trouble. Stellar Wish going to go ahead and grab ourselves the net ball. Uh, I think there's a grubbin left. I guess we will find out. And it has to be just pass over to our opponent. I mean, the rest of the hand's okay, um, but not good enough to keep up with the one prize trading of the Blacephalon, I don't think. So I think this is where we lose the game. Um, and fall too far behind to be able to keep up. If we got this knockout this turn, knock out the Vit Victini next turn, I think we would have been fine. But now there's the Placephalon GX involved with the Burst GX to get them a prize card for only one energy at some point. Um, and yeah, they're either attacking with the uh, Fireball Circus or the Infinity this turn, and then the Fireball Circus or Infinity on the turn after. 
and then the Burst GX on the following turn, and we have no way to stop it, so I think this one is pretty much over. We'll play out the last couple turns. Maybe our opponent makes an egregious error uh, or an oversight at some point, and we're able to make a comeback, but I doubt it ever happens. But uh, better to give ourselves a chance than not, I guess. Um, they're even setting up the other Baby Blacephalon on top of everything else. Here comes the vi Fireball Circus on the Jirachi. Yeah, we just needed two. We, ideally, we just needed two heads on the lure ball, I guess. I guess that's what we we're missing there. Two heads on the lure ball. All right, net ball first. I think there's. Oh, there. I thought there was a Grubbin left. There's apparently not a Grubbin left. Okay. Dance of Tribute first up from most of our deck here. There's that lure ball. Need some heads. Take two. Two more Charger Bugs. We have one Charger Bug and one lure ball prize, so we could even attack again on the next turn. Battery and battery gonna bench the jirachi treat into jirachi stellar wish grab a switch there's a vehicle vault left we have our candy in hand switch to the vehicle vault skateboard to the jirachi and cannon once again um nope hit 120 we need a lure ball or the charger bug off the prize cards, or we actually just can't attack again. It is the lure ball, so we can attack again, but once again, I don't think it matters that we can attack again, because they're gonna be able to go Victini this turn, and then Burst GX on the following turn. Like I said, we don't play Reset Stamp, we don't have any way to disrupt the Blacephalon, or just Greens decks in general. It's an important card to give yourself a chance against Blacephalon Greens when they do set up uh, fairly efficiently early on, is the Reset Stamp. They don't have any uh, off-board recovery or on-board recovery. They only work off of their draw supporters. Um, so if you are able to disrupt them, they can't like use... I'm trying to think of an example, but I guess there's not that many examples here. And uh, They don't have like Stellar Wish or... Is there any... I'm thinking of Ability Draw. But here's the Double Costume Catcher. It looks like they're just going to go after our Oracorio. End it a turn sooner than even I was thinking they might do it. Completely forgot that we had a GX in play. That's a knock on our Oracorio. And that's going to do it for this video on the Vika Vault deck. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, not the most competitive deck in the world. It is a ton of fun. I have been having a lot of fun with it lately. I recommend checking it out. If you're looking for a deck to have some fun with... Uh, let me know what you guys think about the deck in the comment section down below. Uh, if you're enjoying the content, be sure to subscribe. Uh, have a good day. Thanks for watching and peace.